from a known name to the World Cup goal scorer in one year. In this video, we'll tell you who Enzo Fernandez is and why giants all over the world want him. Subscribe to Vamasita Football and let's get started. Enzo Fernandez is a 21 year old Sancho midfielder who was born in Argentina and was brought up at the River Plate Academy from the age of 5. His story is very typical for Latin American boys, as he was born into a family with a total of 5 children. So, football was not only the favorite game, but also a way to get a ticket to life. Crazy to think about it, but Enzo debuted at the senior level just two years ago, in 2020 for his home team, River Plate. And now he scored an incredible goal at the World Cup after assisting Leo Messi, and not so long ago, no one knew anything about him. Fernandez made his best appearance while on loan at the Argentine club Defensa y Justicia. He spent a year there from the summer of 2020 to the summer of 2021. And he not only gained playing experience there, but also helped the team win the Copa Sudamericana. For those who don't follow South American football, it's similar to the Europa League, the continent's second most prestigious international club tournament. Enzo's successes were appreciated by the River Plate management and coaching staff, and the midfielder spent the next year as part of his home club. Fernandez was a rock-solid player and led Los Millonarios to the league title in Argentina. By the way, together with Enzo, Julian Alvarez, who is currently playing for Manchester City and is also present at the World Cup in Qatar, rocked in that team. Fernandez's progress didn't go unnoticed in Europe either. In the end, the Portuguese Benfica managed to sign the player for only 12 million euros. The Eagles are world-renowned for their ability to find diamonds in the rough. So, after signing Enzo, the football community started watching this player closely. Enzo didn't even have time to blink an eye when he found himself under the brightest football spotlights. The guy has already passed the group stage of this season's Champions League, where his Benfica left behind the star-studded PSG to finish first in their group. Well, the convincing performance of the young football player didn't leave Lionel Scaloni the opportunity not to take him to the World Cup in Qatar, where Enzo scored the first goal for his national team against Mexico. His emotions after that speak for themselves. So what kind of player is he? Argentine football expert Bruno Garcia believes that Enzo is most similar to Liverpool midfielder Thiago Alcantara in terms of playing style. Portuguese coach Jose Paseiro finds similarities in Fernandes's game with Zinedine Zidane himself. Enzo's surprising passes and vision are similar to those of Zidane, who sometimes solved the play just by the way he received the ball, Paseiro said. Fernandes, as you have already understood, is completely and utterly a player in the center of the field. At River Plate, he played as a right number 8 in a three-man central midfield formation. Roger Schmidt's Benfica played with two players in the midfield and it was no problem for Enzo to adjust and play there immediately. And this is at the age of 21, mind you. For the Eagles, Fernandes is usually paired with a defensive-oriented Florentino. That is, Enzo in this pair is the one who is responsible for creative work and passing game. If necessary, he can also play a defensive midfielder, because he has a high football intelligence and good defensive skills. Schmidt also tested him in the position of central attacking midfielder, but this was more of an experiment. But Enzo is much more useful when he has the opportunity to build up from deep. Enzo owes much of his quick adaptation to European football to Marcelo Gallardo his coach at River Plate. Gallardo's present school gave Fernandes a ticket to the main team immediately without any adaptation. And Enzo became the key player of his team thanks to his ability to pass. He is the most involved in the play of the ball in the team, he is the best at progressing the ball, and he is the player who chooses the attack development direction. As the athletic journalist Sam Lee describes Enzo, he can dictate the tempo of a match by setting the pace with short, quick passes under pressure. Those players are vital to top teams. Think Xavi, Luka Modric, Ilkay Gundogan in terms of how the game flows, but not all of them have or at least started out with that ability to recover the ball. Fernandez does. 
let's look at Anto's game with examples. We've already praised his passes, so here are a few episodes with those. Here we see how the Argentine finds a great thought pass to a partner. And notice the speed of Anto's reaction to a partner's sprint. It's top-notch. Fernandez also has a great long pass. If you give him time to make a decision, then he's able to perform a pass of any complexity, as for example in this episode here. But Enzo is not only good with the ball, he's also a very hard-working player. In this episode, he notices a gap in his team's defense as the central defender has left his position and works to secure the partner. And here he makes an awesome interception due to rating the game. No unnecessary movements, pure intelligence. His goal against the Mexico national team confirms that Enzo is excellent at joining the attack and that he is a real threat to the opponent's goal. He also scored an incredibly beautiful goal for Benfica this season. So, to summarize, we have a young central midfielder who can do absolutely everything on the pitch. This is what makes him such a tidbit in a transfer market. It's likely that this season at Benfica will be his only one in the Lisbon club shirt. Almost all top European clubs are looking at Enzo Fernandes. Liverpool are eyeing him both as a separate target and as an alternative to Jude Bellingham. According to various reports, Manchester United, Tottenham and Manchester City are also in the race for the player's signature. Barcelona are expressing their interest seeing Enzo as a potential replacement for Busquets. In general, you can read new rumors about Enzo's possible transfer to some club every day. And after the performance against Mexico, there will be even more. But Fernandez earned all these with his game. There are rumors that the Argentines' contract with Benfica includes a compensation clause of 120 million euros. When Enzo moved from River Plate to Benfica in the summer for 12 million, this clause seemed cosmic. But now no one will be surprised if a club simply activates it. By the way, River Plate would receive 25% of the transfer fee for the player's next sale. That is, when the clause is activated, another 30 million euros will fall into Los Millonarios' account. The already mentioned Argentine expert Bruno Garcia believes that it will not be a problem for Enzo to play in any club and any league. He is a guy who in a few years of his career has already shown that he can adapt to different teams in different realities. Defensa y Justicia, River, Benfica, Argentina. Those are four totally different realities, and Enzo managed to stand out in each one of them. Indeed, at the age of 21, Fernandez has already successfully proven himself in four different football systems, which eliminates the doubts of potential buyers whether this talent will be able to show himself in a new league, such as the Premier League or La Liga. It will be very interesting to see how Enzo spends the rest of the World Cup, and if he continues the same way, he will have to hire bodyguards to fend off those who want to sign him. Guys, tell us in the comments which club would be perfect for Enzo's transfer and whether he can help Argentina and Liam Messi win the World Cup. We thank you for watching, and especially those subscribers who also thanked us with likes on this video. Take care and see you soon!